now let us discuss how to measure bh that is horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field using the tangent galvanometer so tangent galvanometer determination of the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field the apparatus required for this are tangent galvanometer this is the tangent galvanometer battery illuminator which provides a voltage a commutator or reversing key this has got four terminals one two three and another one there a variable resistance which goes by the name rheostat an ammeter to measure the current and then few connecting wires <coughs> the circuit connection is given as follows the positive terminal of the battery is being connected to the commutator and the opposite end of that is given connection to the positive of the ammeter from the negative of the ammeter the wire goes to the top end of the rheostat and from the bottom end of the rheostat the wire goes to the negative terminal of the battery the remaining two terminals of the commutator are attached parallel to the tangent galvanometer <coughs> in which we are using two turns of wires two turns of wires so if the number of wires number of turns is less corresponding me the current that has to be supplied is greater <coughs> after getting connection we have to ensure two important precautions or initial set setups <coughs> since the ammeter carries a magnet within it should not be placed anywhere close to the tg tangent galvanometer because the tangent galvanometer essentially carries a small magnetic needle with which only we measure the deflecting angles so this magnet will be affected by the magnet that is present in the ammeter because they should be placed wide apart from each other the next important initial setup is that the coil of the galvanometer uh, tangent galvanometer this is the coil through which the current will flow should be placed parallel to the magnetic needle which you can see as a black small diamond color diamond needle so i have to place it parallel to that so the coil is placed parallel to the magnetic needle this is called magnetic meridian after that you can see a a thin pointer here that should be made to coincide with zero zero position zero as you can see here zero of the compass box in the tangent galvanometer so the pointer coincides with zero of the tangent galvanometer see now <coughs> connections are given to the mains and the plug is switched on battery is also switched on and a sufficient voltage of 8 volts and voltage of 8 is provided in the battery illuminator so the commutator is thrown to the proper contact position by moving the handle like this and then the reading on the ammeter is made nearly 1.5 amperes this is done by adjusting the rheostat i'm just moving the rheostat's jockey and when i move this jockey the reading in the ammeter is also moving i'm just making it to coincide with 1.5 amperes <coughs> 